Hello everybody! Welcome back to Baking Budgets guys! I am so glad that you clicked on my video because today I'm going to be doing a budget with me. I know it has been a very very long time so I'm super happy to be doing this video today. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started guys. Today I'm feeling super happy about this video because a portion of this money is from my Etsy income which I never thought that I would be saying yet here I am saying it. So it's like super surreal and super awesome so if you are um one of the people who has supported my etsy shop so far thank you so much and if you're somebody who would like to the link will always be in my bio as well as in my um youtube info thing you can see it there as well so guys we're going to be working with 724 dollars today so as always i go ahead and get started with my bills first so my bills are pretty much the same every single time. So we're starting with $7.24. And as always, net, my Netflix is $22. So I split it up um, over four weeks. So it's about $4 per week. So we'll do, yeah, $4 for Netflix. Um, another thing that I really like about budgeting, guys, um, is that whenever you get a paycheck, you can split it every week um, and then stuff your bills every week. So then that way, if there ever comes a time where perhaps you don't have money or you have less money, you at least already have a good jumpstart on your bills because you've been stuffing it every week. So that's why I stuff mine every week and that's just works. That's what just works for me. Phone is going to be getting $20 because it's $100. So minus 20. And then my insurance will be getting $30. It's about $148 to $150 um, every month. So that's what we do. Um, so that's kind of what I budget for. I'd like to budget on the higher end. Just like with my electric and gas, it's not always $170. Um, sometimes in the summertime, it's literally like $50, which is so awesome. But I like to stuff it on the higher end for, you know, worst case scenario. So electric will be getting $43. And then same thing with gas, it's going to be getting $18 because I have it on the high end of $70. And then my student loan payment, same thing, $300 every single month. So that's $60 every week. And then Toyota, this is for when my husband buys his car, which is not yet, so it won't be getting stuffed. And then rent is $1,100. So then that comes out to $220 per week. And then Amazon is not getting anything, Target is not getting anything, and neither is extra payment. So that leaves us with the 329. So I just want to add up all my bills to see what we have. So 4, 20, 30, 43, 18, 60, and 220. So 395 for bills, which is not too bad, I don't think, at least for you know on a weekly basis. So we have three. 29 left gas as always is just going to get $50 um that usually lasts us the whole week and then um groceries I like to do 60 um surprisingly $60 I've been making it work so um yeah I'm gonna stick with the 60 food I've been also putting 50 and I know that it might seem like well $50 is a lot for eating out but honestly guys sometimes um whenever i have household things i just use this money as well so we really it's not really all for like food and stuff so we're just doing 50 and then miscellaneous i'm gonna go ahead and stuff 60 this week guys because we're gonna be having a small family outing um with my sister and my baby and my husband so i just wanted to put a little bit extra in there um because we've been pretty pretty tight these past weeks um with our given circumstances being a, on low income these past Past weeks so i just wanted to go ahead and stuff a little bit more than what i've been putting um recently just so that we can let loose a little bit have a little bit of fun so that leaves us with 109 so this is a total of 50 60 50 and 60 so weekly expenses come out to 220 dollars and we're left with 109 so then for my sinking funds, like I said, a lot of the money for my sinking funds has been coming out of food and miscellaneous. So the only one that I wanted to stuff is Lychee's expenses. I went ahead and moved his envelope into this 
um, into my sinking funds instead of my emergency savings. And I just wanted to put $1 in there because he literally has $19. So I just wanted to make it even because if you have OCD like me, you know, like it bugs you. So it totally bugs me. So I was like, I need to throw that dollar in there as well as for my daughter. She has $609. So I was like, I need to throw $1 in there as well so that she can be at an even number. But the rest of us will not be getting anything. And then let me see. Um, yeah, I know that Toyota Invest and this one is not going to be getting anything. And then Etsy Taxes is going to be getting $14, which is super exciting because that means I've been making sales. So I'm really happy about that, like bittersweet that it's going to taxes. But hopefully at the end, I won't have to pay it. So then it'll be like a little tax return for me. Um, so Etsy Taxes gets $14. And then we are left with $93, which is awesome because these past weeks we have not been left with anything i haven't even been able to stuff any of these so i definitely want to get my emergency up kind of get the ball rolling so i'm gonna throw a 50 in there i know it's been a long time um since i've got to stuff it so i'm really happy to throw that in there and then i'm gonna just go ahead and throw the last 43 into my month ahead so I am here on a zero-based budget, guys. And all that means is every single dollar has a role. I don't leave any dollar left behind without a purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and add everything up. And it should equal up to $724. So we have $395 in bills, $220 in weekly expenses, $1 into sinking funds, $64 into emergency savings, $1 into family savings, and $43 into ahead on bills perfect $724. So that'll do it for my budget for this week guys and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video where I will be stuffing this money. So until then I'll see y'all. Bye!